Charging functions. Before charging the lithium ion battery, please refer to your owner's manual for detailed warnings and cautions regarding charging operations and procedures. There are three different methods for charging your new vehicle, normal, trickle, and quick charge, if so equipped. Go to the Immediate Charge Switch chapter for more information on immediate charging operations. In order to charge your vehicle using any of these methods, you will need to open the charge port lid by pulling its release handle on the lower left side of the instrument panel. The charge port lid will spring up slightly. Slide your hand under the lid and raise it until it locks in place. When closing the lid, slowly lower it until it latches, then push the lid down to lock it in place. Charging will not start when the vehicle is on. However, charging will continue if the vehicle is turned on during charging operations. The normal charge takes approximately seven hours and is performed using the charger installed in your home that is hardwired into a dedicated circuit. To perform a normal charge, turn the vehicle off and open the charge port lid. Now, open the charge port cap and plug the charge connector into the charge port on your vehicle. When it is properly connected, a beep will sound once. If charging has started, or if the battery is waiting for a preset charging timer, a beep will sound twice and the charging status indicator light display will change. The trickle charge takes approximately 21 hours to fully charge and can be performed using the electric vehicle supply equipment, EVSE, supplied with your vehicle. To perform a trickle charge, remove the EVSE from the bag in the cargo area and connect its plug to an available dedicated 110 120-volt 15-amp electrical outlet. The green light on the EVSE control box will illuminate. Now remove the safety cap from the charge connector and follow the same steps used for normal charging. To stop the normal or trickle charge operations, press the button on the charge connector to release the lock and remove it from the charge port. Then close the charge port cap, the charge port lid, and attach the safety cap to the charge connector, if so equipped. If you were performing a trickle charge, remove the EVSE plug from the outlet and place the EVSE in the bag before storing it in the cargo area. When performing a normal or trickle charge, you will use this charge port on the right. However, when performing a quick charge, you will use the charge port on the left. The quick charge function, if so equipped, can be performed in approximately 30 minutes when you connect the vehicle to a quick charge connector at a charging station. The lithium ion battery temperature gauge can be used to estimate the approximate time needed to charge the lithium ion battery to 80%. To perform a quick charge, turn the vehicle off and open the charge port lid. Then open this charge port cap and align the charge connector groove with the groove on the charge port to insert it. Now grasp the lock mechanism to lock the charge connector in place. When it is connected properly and ready to charge, a beep will sound twice and the charging status indicator lights will change. Charging will start according to the instructions on the quick charge equipment. To stop the quick charge operation, follow the instructions on the quick charge equipment. Once charging has stopped, unlock the charge connector and remove it from the charge port. After returning the charge connector to its original position, close the charge port cap and the charge port lid. The quick charge operation will stop automatically if the charging time has exceeded 60 minutes or the possible charge time set for the quick charger. If the vehicle charge level is set to maximize driving range, the charge operation will stop automatically when the battery charge reaches 100%. If in long life battery mode, charging will automatically stop at 80%. Please note, it may take more time to charge the lithium ion battery using the quick charger if the vehicle is parked in a cold location, for example, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Press the zero emission button to access the charging timer screen. This screen allows you to set and adjust two individual timers for charging the vehicle. You can use this feature to set a timer for a one-time charge or a regularly scheduled charge time that will reoccur on selected days. Please refer to your owner's manual or the navigation system owner's manual for more information on setting and adjusting charging timers. 
You may also initiate vehicle charging remotely using an internet-enabled smartphone or personal computer. Please go to the Remote Functions chapter or refer to your Navigation System Owner's Manual for more information on this feature. There are three charging status indicator lights on the dashboard that can be seen from inside or outside the vehicle. These lights indicate the current charging status of the lithium-ion battery. If the vehicle is not charging, the lights will not illuminate. If 80% of a timer charge or 90% of a quick charge is completed, or if the lithium-ion battery is fully charged, all three indicator lights will illuminate. They will automatically turn off after approximately 15 minutes or when the charge connector is removed from the charge port. Please refer to your owner's manual for more details on the operation of the charging status indicator lights. The capacity of the lithium-ion battery to hold a charge will decrease with time and usage, as most batteries do. For tips to help you get the most life out of your lithium-ion battery, please refer to your owner's manual. If the lithium-ion battery is fully discharged and the electric vehicle system will not activate even when jump-starting the 12-volt battery, contact your Nissan Certified Leaf Dealer.